Oh, Randy, guys, for your first rune as a shaman, you're going to come to the Bramble Blade Ravine and you're going to kill uh, Bristleback Shamans until they drop a relic called the uh, Dryic Icon. And then you have to learn an ability from receiving nature damage 10 times. So what I would do is I would pull one, go at range, and let them lightning bolt you 10 times. You can just sort of sit here and heal while they do that. Um, they cast about three times and then they're oom, so go ahead and kill them and then move to the next one. But that's what I would recommend doing. You could also duel another shaman or druid and have them cast on you that many times as well if you don't want to use the NPCs. But anyway, I'll see you at the next rune. Voop. Alrighty guys, so the next rune for shaman, I have found it right here at about 6556. It is the Galvanic Icon and this is for the tanking uh shaman shield mastery rune. We put it on here and we have to kill 10 enemies with lightning bolt. So you just got to get the last hit on them with lightning bolt and you will get the uh you'll get the shield mastery rune which is really really nice for leveling and stuff but anyway i'll see you guys at the next rune Voop. Alrighty, guys so we are here at the ruins um the bell dun dig site it is right here at about 3249 you need to kill dwarves to get an artifact storage key and then you have to come up here to unlock this artifact storage chest right under this middle thing. There are mobs here, so do be careful killing them. Um, and then it will give us an idol that we will have to kill enemies with earth shock. And that is how you unlock your lava burst icon so right there we have to defeat 10 enemies with that as well it also serves as a chest and gives you some loot which was pretty cool but anyway that is it for the lava burst rune i'll see you at the next one Voop. Alrighty, guys for our next rune it is going to be the lava lash rune and it is located right here in thunder buff on the lower rise about 40 65 coordinates and it is a torn rogue trainer who offers it right here by the bag vendor you get this quest it is a three-part quest that we have to do and you know questy hasn't updated for it but you have to then it's called stock with the earth mother and you have to collect five charges from the mine um in the ventrico people all the way over here so there are other quests that lead to this so don't go over there until you have those quests ready to do but that is it, and I'll show you when we get there. Voop. Alrighty, guys. So when you're clearing the cave here, you got to come, and these are the blasting supplies that you need to loot. You have to loot five of them in order to uh, do it to get those C4 mining charges. But we are headed up to the adventurer for the other rune, so I will definitely show you guys that one when we get there. Voop. Alrighty guys, so for the next step in your Lava Lash, you have to come here and get Wind Fury Cones. They're below the trees just north of Thunder Bluff. You just walk up, get them, and then you have to use a Pestle and Mortar on them. You grind eight of them into a Venomous Weapon Salve. And that's pretty much all you gotta do. The next step we'll show you once we get back up to Thunder Bluff. So I'll see you when we get there. Voop! Alrighty guys, so after getting the Harpies Eggcorn things that we did, we come back here, turn it in, and then the final one, buy or catch a raw, brilliant small fish, and then use the knife set to flay it in front of him. This is the last step. You can fish it right here in this pool, but I already leveled fishing on a druid, so I'm just going to go here and buy a raw, brilliant starfish real quick, or small fish, sorry, three silver, easy peasy. We'll just go ahead and buy that, and then we will use this knife set on him right in front of him in order to complete this rune quest and get our Lava Lash. Very cool that they sort of memed with the Torn Rogue and they put him in like kind of a hidden place. Kudos to whoever found him here, because like you had to just walk around and do that. So we are doing this, and... Bam, we have flayed the fish, and we now have the ability to dual wield, and we get Lava Lash, so really awesome stuff there. But anyway, that is it for this rune, and I'll see you at the next one. Voop.
Alrighty guys, for the next Shaman Rune in Mulgor, you need to come right here at 6033 after clearing the cave, and then you have to click on the summoning portal here to summon the Adventuring Spirit. In order to get your rune, you can be a Shaman and a Druid, as we just showcased there. This guy's a Druid getting his Life Bloom. I am a Shaman getting my uh rune right here for ancestral guidance on the legs so that is a really cool rune to get and that is it and i'll see you at the next one Alrighty, guys for our next rune and the first one that we get when we're at the barrens around ratchet just north or south looking around there is the desert mirage now i'm level 12 it's level 15 but essentially we just have to be level 12 to get purge and then we can run over here. You cast Purge on it, and you are able to get your rune. So I'm going to show you guys that. Bam, Purge. It does actually give XP, which is cool to know. A level 15 only given XP like that. Um, and then we get our Earthen Rune. We can use this. And that is how you get the Way of the Earth, which is the Shaman Tanking uh, Rune, which is pretty awesome. But, uh, yeah, it can also be used for big damage by just Earth Shocking on cooldown and um, having it separate from your other ones at the same time. But, anyway, that's it for this rune, and I'll see you at the next one. Whoop. Alrighty, guys, for our next rune here as a shaman, we are located right here at the Forgotten Pools, about 4224, and we're going to come up here. You need to have a coat car booty key and with the booty key you can use it to open the chest with all the booty in it and then you can uh loot it and it has a chance to drop your key or your rune and that is rune of water shield which as you can see we got the tempest icon it requires level 20 so once you're level 20 you get to uh get you do you hit 10 non-player enemies with three different elements so nature frost fire so essentially fire frost earth and frost shock and i believe we get frost shock at level 20 yeah so that's it so i would just shock them three times and then kill them once you're level 20 to get water shield but that is that for that rune and i'll see you at the next one Whoop. Alrighty guys, so in order to get Shamanistic Rage, we have to patrol the Charred Veil until you find the Primordial Anomaly. And now he has a form which makes him weaker to certain abilities. So this is weaker to fire right now because he it just shows that. Now he is a fire Ellie, so he's vulnerable to frost damage. So we're going to frost shock him. Um, as you can see, he is an elite. He has water now, so he's vulnerable to nature damage. So we're going to earth shock him. But something like that, and bam. We now have our rune of primordial fury, which gives us shamanistic rage. And we got a six inch shoulders, which might actually sell. But anyway, that's pretty cool. And that is the rune, and I will see you at the next one. Voop. Alrighty guys, so in order to get the Lava Burst Rune, we are here at the Nethander Stead in uh, Hillsbred Foothills. Next to South Shore, south of Tarn Mill, this little farm right here, and we have to kill these Mud Snout Shamans. These Shamans, um, they actually behave really weirdly, so be careful when you pull these, because they are, one, a higher level than you, but two, like, they kind of run backwards as they cast, but anyway... They drop an idol that you guys need, and with that idol, you'll have to then take lava damage in order to, um, you have to take lava damage in order to get the lava burst spell. So, once you do that, um, I, once we get this idol here, I will show you the best place to do that, but unfortunately, we did not get it on our first kill. But anyway, I'll see you when we get the idol. Voop! Alrighty guys, so it took me about five kills for that shaman um, and we got our icon here and now it says learn a new ability after taking damage from lava five times reduces damage from some sources of lava. So like my first thoughts were like Black Rock Mountain, uh, Searing Gorge, Burning Steps, all that area where it's like volcano -y fire everywhere, you know. But the answer is RFC. You literally zone into the instance, and then you have some nice lava that you can burn yourself on. 
obviously I thought it was right there, but we might have to go a little further in here. The mobs are level 14 elite, so if you're 25, you won't have to worry too much. Um, let's see. No, that makes lava noises, but it's not lava. So we're just going to run right around here till we can find the first source of lava, which may be right here. Yes, this is the first source of lava. So we just take damage, and you'll get your building inspiration right here. And then, bam, we took five damage uh, sources of lava. Right click the relic, and bam, we have learned lava burst rune, which is awesome. But anyway, that's it for that rune, and I'll see you at the next one. Alrighty, guys, so in order to get your dual wield specialization rune, um, you have to come here to Ratchet south of like the city inside the inn there's a goblin named grisby and there's a secret quest line for the secret rune shop and you have to have five gold in your bags you walk up to him said what did you have in mind then you in that dialogue come back and he will have three quests that you have to complete the first one is fish oil you have to get him 24 fish oil fish oil is pretty cheap now that the server's been out for a few weeks but if you want to farm it the best location is wetlands right around here you can fight bluefin oracles um this is a great spot for alliance or horde can come to hills brad foothold just south of the azure load mine and fight the murlocs there the murlocs here though are 27 to 30 so they can be a little harder but i found wetlands to be very hard for horde and they were incredibly camped so made it very difficult to farm there i was able to farm it at hills brad the next one is going to be the Dark Iron Ordnance. Now, these ordnance drop over here in Wetlands as well at Dun Modar. There's elite dwarfs here. You're definitely going to need a raid group, but if you have a raid group, they drop really quickly. I've had up to 40 people be there in a raid blasting these dwarfs. They're, they are level like 28 to 32 elites, so it makes it a little hard to hit them. But very easy to do, just it'll take you an hour or so to get all 20 of them when you have a raid group here hitting all of them. Then finally, we have the Shredder Turbo Chargers. Now, these require auto shredder um, scrappers from the auction house that engineers make. It's going to cost you quite a decent amount of gold for that part definitely the most costly one because you have to buy it then you come here to stone talon mountains and in the wind shear crag around this area right here there are some shredder spawns they also spawn over here at this side um however it can be kind of contested a lot of people just farm these to farm the parts to then sell the parts you can go and buy the parts just right off the H if you really want to however it's very expensive it doesn't take much time or effort to buy them I would recommend going out there with 20 to 25 of them because they are not a hundred percent drop rate and it's very important that you understand that because I would hate for you to get 16 go out there thinking you're gonna get them all and then uh, you know not be able to I did it on my druid I bought 16 thought it would be a hundred percent it was not and I was very sad and disappointed with that but anyway, that is it for those three yeah, things. Well, After you do that, you have a little quest where it takes you on a trip to Orgrimmar. And it's pretty easy to do. You just go in there and talk to the guy. He is located in the uh, Valley of Honor. I have no idea why that just took me to Stranglethorn. But he's located in the Valley of Honor over here. You just talk to a troll, give him some stuff, and then come back here. And that unlocks the secret shop. And for Shaman, it is dual wheel specialization. But that's it for this rune, and I will see you at the next one. Alrighty, guys. So in order to get the Earth Shield rune for Shamans, you're going to have to come into the BFD raid, and you're going to have to kill Baron Aquinas, the first boss here. After we kill him, he drops an orb, and then we are good to go. And then I'll show you the next steps after we do that. The boss is super easy. I've never wiped on him, so you should be fine. Alrighty, I'll see you at the next step. Voop. Alrighty, guys. So after you come here to the Jerome Strand and turn in the Baron quest, you then talk to this guy, and you will get another quest right here, and it is called Elemental Distress, and you have to collect motes of Elemental Rage and bring them back to here. So a seismic is Earth Ellie, Torrental is Water Ellie, and Infernal is Fire Ellie. 
the best place to farm these are going to be here in the charred veil vale for the earth and fire ellies and then water ellies are going to be at maestro lake in uh ashen vale so we're going to head to those locations farm up our orbs so after we get the orbs i will show you guys the next step i'll see you when we get there Voop. Alrighty guys, so after finishing those elementals, it actually took quite a bit because there was a lot to kill, so just be aware of that. Um, you know, hopefully you can get lucky, um, but it could take a while, especially the Earth Ellie. That one felt very, very bad. Um, but after about maybe like an hour, 30 minutes, I got all three of the moats, and now we came back here to Jump Strand. We turned in our quest, and then we had to do the Elixir of Insight quest, which required us to give him an Elixir of Wisdom and an Elixir of Water Breathing. Very easy, very cheap, definitely, you know, you can do that pretty quickly. And then it gives us this Elixir of Insight, and then the next quest is to just come right over here use this uh brew we drink it by the bonfire and then we get to watch a death's hand shaman do some voodoo not really sure what this is but it's pretty cool um oh he summoned an earth elemental oh he tamed an earth elemental that's pretty cool so that is the hint that we needed so now that that is complete we go back talk to him and then we will get the final step which is to go kill that guy we have to go kill herzek in the south barrens to finish the quest and get our rune of earth shield so we're going to head there kill him and get our earth root shield. so i'll see when we get there Voop. Alrighty guys, so we are here at the Southern Barrens at about 4378. We're at uh, Herzog. I'm doing it with another shaman friend who is uh, having some layering issues right now. But once he is here, we're going to go ahead and kill him. And then he will be able to get his uh, uh, staff. An important thing is, is we kill them once. And it says complete on his quest log, but the quest also says bring the staff to him. So I would highly recommend that you get a staff on multiple people. So you might have to kill him multiple times if you're doing it with a friend. Um, but just, you know, be aware of that because I, we really have no idea and I don't want you guys to mess that up. So now we both have the staff and we can both go back and complete the quest at Trom Strand to get the Earth Shield Rune. So anyway, we killed them. It's not too hard. I think I could have sold that. Honestly, nothing too crazy. But we're going to fly back there, turn it in, and get the Earth Shield rune. So I'll see when we get there. Voop. Alrighty, guys. So we have made it to the Jram Strand all the way over here. And we turn What's in this. And bam, we get the rune of Earth Shield. Making that a very fun healing rune, very powerful, and can do wonders for any healer. But anyway, guys, that is it, and I will see you at the next rune. Voop. Alrighty, guys, so in order to get our last rune for shamans, which is healing rain, you come here to the Duratar Supply and Logistics Officer. You get those waylaid supply crates, turning them in gives you rep if you fill them up you get more rep and this is a big change from the other videos as of yesterday it only requires friendly reputation and it only costs two gold to get the rune so right here we can learn it for two gold and level friendly uh with the reputation i actually got friendly just by simply playing this character getting those crates and turning them in throughout the time to do it but then we can get healing rain i really like this change i think it is good i actually farmed it legitimately on my druid and my mage is already friendly i just have to come here and buy it 
but I think it's a great change for the game if they're not going to change the crates because then that encourages you to just come here, go and get it, and you can, you know, do it as intended. But anyway, guys, that's it for the shaman video. I truly hope you enjoyed this. I hope it helps you find all these shaman runes. If you have never played a shaman before and you're playing horde, give shaman a whirl. I have thoroughly enjoyed playing this class just running around with the tank set up and just shocking the crap out of everything flame shock earth shock and just moving through it all i i found it to be really really fun um but anyway definitely let me know what you think of the video comment down below if you think i missed anything anything you would like to see anything i could do better just definitely let me know down in the comments but until next time i'll see you later hope you have a great day Bye bye if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much for watching. It truly means a lot to me. If you happen to find anyone that you know would also benefit from watching this video, please, please, please share it with them. It helps me out a ton and allows me to keep doing what I love every single day, and that is gaming and sort of helping people any way that I can. So finally, thank you so much, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.